another exciting episode of eDigital Africa. Yes, that's right, and I'm your girl, Faith History, and today we are doing what we do every single time, take you on a deeper dive into your online journey and your digital skills acquisition here in Nigeria. All right, so this episode is about the top five digital marketing skills that you should be picking up if you're living right here in Nigeria. And I'm happy to say that actually, I've done a couple of these jobs before. Okay, so coming in at number five, we've got email marketing. Now, email marketing, what is it? Email marketing uh, can be easily described as a way for a company, right, an emailer, uh, to send a message to a mailing list, which they have bought or acquired at an event, different places to acquire email lists, and then you send these email lists, which actually, they're emails of human beings, right? So you gave your email to a, a brand that you went to the event, right? And they're like, write your email address here. They could actually take that list and create an email list, and then they could start marketing to you. So let's say the event was around I don't know, digital skills acquisition, like our Let's Go Digital. We could then create an email list based on our past Let's Go Digital and then start marketing to you. Different things that we're doing, we could be marketing it to you. But how does a regular email or a newsletter differ from email marketing? I'll tell you how. Links, all right? So these links and the graphics, so say for instance you get the email, basically it'll come in as a graphic or a poster, all right? All online, all digital, right in the body of the email. But back of this uh, graphic are these links, and these web links tie to where the product that is being sold lives. So the product has to live on a website of some sort. Could be social media site, could be your own blog, could be your own website, but it has to live somewhere. So when you send the email, and the um, person on the other side, the person on the list, the person with the email address, clicks on the email, and, they, and you, for instance, they see a graphic of a beautiful woman and some children, and they say, hey, it's Mother's Day, and we're giving you 50% off on our you know, uh, children's uh, clothes or dresses or whatever, and you click on that link, it'll take you to that particular place on the website, e-commerce site, where they are selling that dress for 50% off. That's email marketing. Huh. So much work. I did it in New York like so many years ago. I loved some of it, but mostly I kind of hated it. Well, coming up next is my number four. At number four, we have web data analytics. Now, a lot of people actually believe that this is the foundation, like the most important digital marketing skill ever. So you've got tools like Google Analytics, Hotjar, um, even webmaster tools that can help you decide and tell you, analyze, track, and assess who is coming to your website. Who are you talking to? What's the buyer persona? Like, what kind of user are they? What time are they coming onto the website? What pages do they like the most? What pages are they bouncing off of? All of this information is web data analytics. And it's a skill that a marketing team, a digital marketing team, really needs to have in order to be competitive. Because, look, you don't even know who's coming to your website. You don't know what time they're coming. You don't know where they're coming from, yet you want to talk to them, yet you want to market to them. These skills, again, are skills that any digital marketing team or professional who wants to jump into the field needs to acquire. So if you think to yourself, where is a space that a lot of people are not really, really looking at in Nigeria yet? I think this is one of those spaces. Coming up next, my number three. And before we go into number three, I want to remind you that we are having conversations here, right? Like, I don't just want to be talking to you guys. I want you to talk right back to me. And to do that, you have to use the hashtag DigitalGangTV. And then back to our, our number three. Our number three is social media marketing. I'm sure we've talked about this before. Like, I don't know how many times you're going to hear this from me, but social media marketing is a huge skill. Again, you will not go hungry. Now, is it just about posting? Not just that. Is it just about stalking people? Not just that. Is it just about commenting on people's posts and saying, ah, I'm a social media marketer. Let me quickly drop my own post and walk up past. You know, no, 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 no. It is not just that. It is the ability to curate, 
create an, uh, a community, engage the community, serve as a customer service uh, link for the company, as well as so many other skills. So we're talking about graphics design, we're talking about um, curation skills, research, marketing skills, all on social media platforms. So a social media marketer could work on, for instance, or have a particular focus on LinkedIn, right? So you just deal with the LinkedIn platform. You learn what works on LinkedIn. You could be dealing with just Facebook. Find out what works on Facebook. Um, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, so many of the different platforms. So being a social media marketer means that you are able to combine various skills, writing skills, graphic design skills, um, research skills, all those skills combine together to make a really good social media marketer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, coming up next is my number two. Number two. SEM and SEO. Why did I put these two together? Like, why are they side by side? Why am I going SEM slash SEO? You know, they're interchangeable. I used to think that, but no, they're actually quite different. SC, even though they work very well together, right? Like they're like brother and sister, twins, five and six, you know? So SEM is search engine marketing. Um, this is where you are looking at, um, you know, Google ads, you're looking at marketing, buying an ad, creating an ad, placing it online on various uh, platforms, not just Google, various paid platforms, monitoring them, um, you know, analyzing them, optimizing them, just making sure that they're really running well. And the kind of skill sets that, uh, that are involved in doing something like this very well include being able to be a really good project manager. I should know, because I used to do it. So um, one of the things you will have to do is you know, build a nice project team. Some of them could be people that are outsourced, um, like I was working with companies out in India, and they would create all the uh, banners and all the graphics and all the uh, web banners and all the copy, and then all the different sizes. Imagine like running a campaign where you have 50 different creatives across like four different markets or 20 different markets in Africa. That's hectic. You know, that's a lot of creatives. The important skill to remember is search engine marketing goes alongside with SEO, which is my next thought. SEO is search engine optimization. So if you are marketing, that's why I said they're brother and sister. If you decide, for instance, that you want to do a campaign and you have all these different uh, messages that need to be shared out, how do you decide how good that campaign or how do you design or determine how well that campaign will run out? Here in comes search engine optimization because basically, in search engine optimization, you're looking at keyword search, you're designing like the right keywords that will help to bring in some of your ads uh, that are not, for instance, uh, um, the banner ads, right? So some of the banner, some of the ads have just text. Some of the ads are just keyword search. So sometimes in a campaign, in a um, digital campaign, online digital marketing campaign, you have your banner ads, and then you have your text ads, and then you have your keyword ads. So all of this together form all the bulk of your messaging. And that's why I said they're brother and sister because they all work together. So if you have these skills, if you can pick up these skills, you'll always be in employment because they're kind of difficult things to do. Coming up next, don't go anywhere. It's my number one. At number one, yes, we've been waiting for it. What is a digital marketing skill that is so important to have that if you have it, you can get paid, like you can get a job or you can create work for yourself. It's content marketing. What is content marketing? Yeah, marketing content, what is that, what is that? I'll explain it very simply. Content marketing is when you are creating content. Uh, think about content as like your blog. Uh, it could be a social media post. It could be a video. And you're creating it on behalf of a brand, but you're not actually explicitly selling the brand. You're just using it to stimulate interest in the products and services of the brand that you're creating it for. You get it? So I'll give you an example. Um, you do a social media post and the post talks about, you know, some fly people. Like, 
Let me give you an example of what we do, right, at eDigital Africa. So you go on our Instagram and we do a post about like a, an influencer and maybe our color is like yellow for the month or whatever. And this influencer is wearing yellow and we do a post uh, about how you know this particular influencer is so fly because it's Friday and she's gonna have a great weekend and are you gonna have a great weekend now we're not directly selling anything right we're not saying come to our website oh uh, you know if you wear yellow you're gonna get free food or you know <laughs> free data no we're just saying to you In a nutshell, I hope I explained it. So if you get this skill, I promise you, like I said, you'll never go hungry. Now, some of you may be thinking, okay, Faith, you've gone through all of these different skills, you know, and we don't have these skills. These are digital marketing skills. How are we gonna get it? You know, I'm just sitting in my house. I've just graduated. I learned all these other things. Why do I need to take? and we will do a post that you will see with all the listings of the online free digital courses and the paid digital marketing courses, okay? Free, paid. And then we'll do a third list for you and that list will have digital marketing locally, like in Nigeria that you can access, all right? And you know, some other African countries. Okay, so that's our promise to you so that you can go and pick up some of these new digital marketing skills. Aren't we nice? Yeah, we so nice, we so. Okay, that's the show for me today. I love bringing it to you. Now, please do not forget we are on social media. You can follow us at eDigitalAfrica, all right, on all the social media platforms that your heart desires. And until next time, you will catch me same place, same time next week. Goodbye for now from your girl, Faith History. Ta-da!